Hi, this is Liz Lothar, and this presentation is to help you plan for TEDx Kids at El Cajon uh, in 2017. And I wanted to start off with this picture from our April event where all of us stood together and got behind the TEDx letters and really felt like this was a great uh, platform for students to share their idea. And now's the time to make that platform come to a reality at your school site so that every student has access and equity. Uh, let's start with our events and timelines. Uh, our first event is March 4th at Petco Park. Applications will be due on February 3rd. Uh, each student is welcome to fill out an application. This is only speaking parts and students can have cards and notes to speak with. This is not adding slides as well. We have a parent meeting scheduled as well as two coaching nights uh, and then the event night or event day. The next event is June 3rd, 2017, TEDx Kids at El Cajon at Greenfield, Greenfield Middle School. Uh, the TEDx applications will be due March 24th. This will include slideshows. We're also looking for MCs that could host the uh, different sessions for us. Um, we have created a slideshow template for your students. It has tips on how to create their slides, as well as all the correct ratios and visuals that they need. We have a parent meeting as well as four coaching sessions planned dress rehearsals, and then the event day. For your school participation, we are hoping that your PTAs assist you in creating a school booth. This can highlight something your school is doing, show off some of your projects or artwork, um, or it can be an interactive booth where you're making or uh, doing an engaging activity with students and attendees. We're looking for volunteers at your booth and around the event. Um, as well as if you have performance groups, Folklorico, drum lines that would like to perform on stage, either in the theater or outside. We're looking for groups of broadcast media students who would like to assist with the stage in the theater, running cameras or lights, um, and also assisting with moving things around and people around backstage. Uh, classes or schools, we're going to have a gallery walk. So if you'd like to provide some art or projects for display, um, we're looking for classes that would like to do that. We're looking for uh, middle school art classes who would like to participate in a live art project. This could be drawing, painting, creating um, during the day, and people would kind of watch the artwork progress. Um, we're also looking for ASB or leadership clubs to help sell snacks, um, assist with the event, and uh, do some uh, other things that could help uh, the event be more successful. From schools and principals, from office staff, we'd like to promote the event as a explore day or Saturday school day to help promote um, ADA recovery. Um, because of this, any first grade through eighth grade student at Cajon Valley will be free if they attend for four hours um, and complete a activity for the day. Um, by doing this, they would recoup uh, one of their absent days. Um, the district would pick up the funds for ADA um, and that's more than the cost of the ticket we would charge the parents. So the parents would receive a free um, admission for their student. To get all this rolling, uh, we want the TED Ed lessons uh, rolled out in classrooms. And we had talked about the best time to do this would be November, December. Many schools, many schools were able to roll this out and they have full grade levels doing uh, TED Ed lessons. Um, if your school has not started or if you have teachers who have not started, the places to start are in your writing and your essay writing. TED Ed lessons can fit into your opinion or persuasive um, texts, your language arts editing and revisit, revising times, or many of your schools have 20% time genius hours, PBL, or they're working with Thrively. So any of those activities could have a culminating project of a TED talk. The trick is to get started with the new year 
um, so that your students can make those deadlines and your teachers can make those deadlines and feel successful that they had enough time to work. We have a lot of buts. A lot of people say, but I can't, but there's so much in the way. So for those that don't have time, it fits into the writing time. That's why we picked it for the Ed Co-op PLN day. Anyone, every subject can fit in writing. Um, they still don't have time. They'll have to do it after contract time. Do the badges. The badges are built around what teachers will need to do in order to help students finish their TED Talk. So badge one is all about planning. Do the simple steps in the badge. Do some extra planning that has to do with fitting it in uh, and then be paid two hours for that plan time. Uh, second badge is about rolling out the curriculum to your students. And the third badge is about helping to facilitate that videoing of the students. So really, if the teachers don't have time, they're saying they have to push into their non-contract time, encourage them to do the badge because the badge allows them paid time to um, incorporate TED Ed lessons. Um, resources, resources go to your TED site to support people, use them. Uh, very few of them have hit anywhere near 10 hours. So they have a lot of hours left um, and they have a lot of time and they have great heart. So use those TED site support people. Um, your ed tech facilitators, when they come out, they will add TED ed lessons to their list of supports. So if you need help in a PLN or if you need help in a grade level meeting or a department meeting or a one-on-one, -on -one, you can ask uh, the ed tech facilitators to help with TED ed as well. The badges are a huge resource in the student idea book. Uh, lots of teachers will ask, do I have to? And this year, this is a request. Um, and we would like all teachers to be familiar with the TED Ed lessons. We would like all students to have equal access to the TED Ed lessons and to the curriculum. And so that no parent calls us at the end of the year saying, why didn't my child have this opportunity? And no student feels left out from this opportunity. I wanna share with you uh, one student this is Jim Patrick's video. This is his application video. You're gonna notice that he's reading his book. Uh, nothing is edited. He has an adult clicking his slides for him. And this is a perfectly acceptable video. So I don't need an edited, nice, crisp video. I need to be able to hear the student's passion and hear the student's idea. Jim Patrick progressed on to Petco Park in March last year. Again, he read his notes, he read his speech, and he was just becoming familiar with it. Then we saw him at TEDx Kids at El Cajon. He did a wonderful job in his second take of his speech and had a standing ovation. And when it came time to recommend students to go to um, TED Ed in New York for TED Ed weekend, uh, we recommended Jim Patrick along with a couple others. And then he was able to present at TED Ed weekend in front of the an audience of high school students, for the most part, high school students and teachers. Um, in about a 200 person theater at the TED headquarters in New York with his two parents. Um, and he became an awesome, awesome speaker and really stole the show uh, with many of the TED Ed crew just laughing through his entire talk um, and having a blast with Jim. So next steps with your site, with your TED Ed site support person, create a plan, develop something that your teachers are going to be able to jump in and not feel uh, overwhelmed. If they are feeling overwhelmed, call me, um, talk to my ed tech facilitators, talk to your TED site support person, and let's try to make a way that we can fit this in without uh, overwhelming our teachers and, and tying it into our curriculum that already exists and tying it into those pieces where it fits. Um, it's not one extra thing. It is part of the fabric of Cajon Valley. Uh, teachers can work through lessons one through seven, which is the writing portion and um, starting their slides and then head 
turn over the um, student to the TED site support person for an after school set setting to get the practice in to do a lot of refinement. If your teachers can get through those writing portions, which are seven lessons, then your kids should have a good 